The game's not over, and they mostly come at night. This is my review for the four-film franchise of Aliens. A. D. N. It's headphones deal! guys welcome back to another film franchise review and in this case it's going to be a review consisting of the four films in the alien franchise notably alien aliens alien 3 and alien resurrection so i'm crossing these off my bucket list now uh with an asterisk um because i had previously seen alien and aliens i had started to watch alien 3 but um stopped for some reason and never got around to alien resurrection so after watching the predator films i thought i would get around to these films to see how they hold up see if the um, general dislike for alien 3 was as bad as i or think if in my from my perspective alien 3 was as bad as the dislike i had so heard about for so long and i generally don't hear too much about alien resurrection so um since it's part of the original set of films centered around ripley i thought i would watch that as well so after watching the films i want to say that the first two films were probably the best of the four they're very tightly filmed and generally well done so watching those two made a lot of sense but when you get into three and four and mostly three it kind of falls apart just because you have the ship that Ripley and the rest of the crew are on fall onto a prison planet and then you have the fourth one where we have we have a ship returning to earth so it feels like alien resurrection was a remake of the third film as a way to correct the general dislike of the third film and they didn't really take away from that it existed but it felt like they were trying to say that okay we understand people didn't like it so let's build a film that bridges the first two films kind of ignores what happened in the third but um kind of put it together so that it flows but kind of round out this particular story arc in the franchise so from my from watching them now all back to back i want to say that if you um watch the first two films and then really all you need to watch of the third film are is the introduction sequence and then the very ending outro of the film then jump right into alien resurrection you basically get a, a good set of three films that are centered around ripley where she where she first learns about the alien in the first film she has to go back to the planet to resolve what happens in aliens for the company trying to recover them she goes into a deep sleep for 200 years and then we find out that she's been dead for so long um notably because of the result of alien 3 but you can attribute that to being in stasis for 200 years where because no one found her or the ship that everyone on the ship died so you get the same general effect and then because the company has found out to figure out a way to clone uh, humans that and they have her original dna that they've been recloning her to recover the alien and uh, figure out how to make a hybrid and because she's been asleep for 200 years she doesn't know what's going on and the rest of alien resurrection is a fallout from um the cloning and the company Tr wayland corporation to trying to um create a version of the alien for themselves so um i will say as i mentioned i definitely definitely liked the first two films um the third film i didn't did dislike but it felt like there was there wasn't much to the film that I could say that there was a point to having it. In reading some of the trivia, I guess there was a lot of filming issues. There was a director and production change in the middle of the film. There were rewrites. So there was a lot of issues with the script, which resulted in the issues and problems that the film had. 
Um, I didn't read too much into the trivia for the fourth fourth film, but I want to say that overall the fourth film felt like a much pol more polished version of the third film, so it wasn't bad, but I liked it a lot more. It um, made sense, and it was generally enjoyable. And seeing Ron Perlman in that film, I think, made it better as well. So I don't want to say that it was a casting issue. It was more basically just the story, so... In watching Aliens 3 and Alien Resurrection, I would say, like I said, skip the third one and move right into the fourth one. Um, on the Predator side, for an equal comparison, I want to say that Aliens 3 is kind of like Predator 2, where in Predator 2, all you really needed to watch was the end sequence when Danny Glover's character comes across a Predator ship, which um, takes off, and that can lead right into um predators i think it was whatever the third film in the predator franchise was called which mimics kind of what we see with aliens 3 and watching the intro and outro and it jumping directly into alien resurrection so um both franchises would have worked better as a trilogy and each has their bad film in the franchise but um overall they work better as a trilogy of films rather than four films um so that's kind of all I really have to say about it. I, if I was to compare the two against the two franchises against each other, I don't think that any one is better or worse than the other. Um, they're both good and bad in their own ways. Um, as far as the main villains of each go, um, I think Predator or feels like Predator had a more a rounded effort to create a bad guy to understand with aliens it was or the alien franchise it was more mysterious um granted they had the acid that can burn through almost anything so that's kind of the up and down of the films so um in watching them i want to say that um Predator was probably, or I'm leaning more towards Predator as far as um, my preferred film franchise, but as soon as I get through the um, Alien versus Predator films, um, which I th I'm going to try and watch before I get into the Game of Thrones um, rewatch, but I haven't decided on that yet, but I'm going to hold off on which uh, villain I like more, the Predator or the Alien, to see how they face off versus each other to s decide which one is the better uh, villain of the two franchises. So that's all there is for this particular review, so if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for links to the past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all that good stuff. And for early access to upcoming content, other feedback, bonus content, and all of that good stuff, you can subscribe and support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. But thanks for tuning in to this particular review and episode, and...